Hello, this is Christian Flint for ABP Tech Canada and ABP Tech International. A couple of weeks ago, I created a video showing you how to review and how to export footage using the Mobotics Management Center. Now, today a question arrived in how to set the cameras as well as the NAS up for direct playback on MX Management Center. So here's how you do it. The whole setup starts with understanding how to set up the Mobotics camera and what is MX FFS and what is MX file server. So as you know, Mobotics has created its own file formatting system, in short, MX Mobotics FFS file formatting system. So internally, I like to think about them like FFS1 and FFS2. But in the software, uh, Mobotics uses MX File Server and MX FFS. So MX File Server is the older system where the camera records directly onto the NAS. So in the camera, in the setup, it would look like that. You'll choose if you create if you want to use the SMB SIFS protocol or if you would like to use the NFS File Server. Both are possible. So you select it, you basically enter your NAS or your server and all the other important data the camera needs to understand to record directly to the NAS. Back then when we had Control Center, this was a perfect way because Control Center could read the data of the NAS or the server directly and you had a much faster playback. Now, this however bypasses the micro SD card inside the camera, which is not good news if you are facing a power outages on the server uh, because you do not have any buffer. The buffer is very small, it's a couple of seconds. So the better way is to switch the primary storage onto the SD flash card and then in, in the second step decide upon the archive target which could be then the NAS or the server so the NFS or SMB SIFS file server structure. Now, once you have done that and basically tested the connection, everything, you have always to put in the file archive size. The camera takes care of itself. So all cameras can basically record to the one folder and they create internally multiple other folders. So I quickly show you how this looks on my NAS. So this is the file structure on the cameras. This is the IP address of my NAS. And you see multiple cameras here. You see a very old one, 10.12, and I don't really have any new ones, to be quite honest. Um, but you have to understand how the different file structures are looking like. So if we look into this one here, you see already the SD flash card mentioned. So this one is using the FFS2 or the MX FFS file formatting system with the SD card as a buffer. If we look further into it, we'll also realize that, I'll widen this here quickly, that all the blocks have the same two gigabyte size. This is important so that the camera can basically fix uh, connection breaks automatically or if there's a power outage so that no footage gets lost. But all the footage has the same size as you can see here. So now I have to find a different camera with the older file formatting system <clears throat> called MX File Server. And this is the this setup here. So here you have many more folders in here. And inside those folders, you have again folders. And then inside those folders, <clears throat> you do have multiple files. Now, they are listed as JPEGs. But if you look here um, at the size, you see that those JPEGs have many, many uh, different sizes. You have to understand that the file style JPEG allows the programmer to put anything behind the first picture. So Windows sees that as just the first picture. But in truth, this is MX, MXPEG, where the file of the video sequence is behind the first picture. Okay. So as you can see, this is quite different than the two gigabyte blocks you'll get from the other camera. Now, once you set things up 
correctly in Management Center, you can play it back either way. For the user, it doesn't really, there's no difference. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, so I'll show you what you have to do in MX Management Center. So for that reason, I'm switching back to Management Center. Okay, so here we are. In Management Center, there are two steps. And the first one, under View, you have to go into Components. It, in the Components, you click on the little plus symbol here to basically add whatever you have. So if you're adding a Mobotics NAS, then of course you click Add Mobotics NAS. Uh, if you're adding any other NAS, including servers, uh, you basically click Add Network Share. So once you did that, you have to rename it, like here. So I'll call it NAS2. And then over here, I enter the same information I've got into my camera. So here's the same thing, right? The file server IP address, 192.168.2.95. The directory, and I can copy it basically over, it's cameras. Let me just enter the username and password. And then you click on the test button to see if the HTTP connection can be successfully established. Now this is just the first step, but it's an important one. Now if you switch to the second step, you need to open up the lock symbol to get into the configuration per camera. So I showed you two cameras. The one is my T25 under my front door. So if I go into it, you see um, in the lower section here, there is recording settings, NAS. And as you can see here, the recording path is listed as NAS. I entered the second NAS that's listed now here as NAS2. I could also do via camera or a local path. Local path would be if I quickly need to move raw recordings over from a NAS to my hard drive, I could do local path instead. So now here I choose NAS because I know that's the right one. And then I have to choose the format. And again, the MXFFS is the buffered format. The MX file server is the older format. Whatever you click, it should find its directory automatically. If it doesn't find the directory, try the other file format. Might be, it might just be that you're wrong uh, with the format you used in the camera. So here we have the device directory, flashcard. You can, of course, enter and edit this manually too, but only if you have very old and slow servers or NASes where the um, algorithm doesn't find it in time or for whatever reason doesn't find it at all, you can enter it manually. But normally you don't have to. But this step has to be done for every camera. So my other camera, which I just show you, is the, uh, where is it? <laughs> it's my driveway up here. So in my driveway camera, again NAS, but this time I have the file server. So using the file server, you see it's just a different looking directory, but it's filled automatically. Okay. One more thing before I forget that. It is important to understand that if you switch between the old MX file server format to the newer buffered format, you have to delete the old data manually because the camera can only deal with its own storage block in the format you've chosen. So when you make the switch, you have to delete manually your old data on the NAS. Otherwise, it stays there forever and the NAS might be filling up and you don't even know why. Okay? So please keep that in mind. That is very, very important. Okay? So now let's see how both options are working in real life. So I'm locking down the system. Go to the playback menu. Uh, today was a snowy day. So let's see around Sunday. And I remember, I think we walked the dogs around 4 p.m. So yeah, that's a nicer day, better view. Let's see when we walk the dogs. See now, yep, yeah, here we come. So 
we're just leaving our house for dog walking. And now you see, because of the NAS, how nicely I can speed things up, right? So you see how fast it, it ran. Now the same thing can be said for the M15 I have here. So if I go to the M15, same day. And uh, let me also, yeah, so I have two sensors here for the M15. I have the overview sensor or my zoom sensor. So again, let's do this, um, it was 4 p.m. on the 15th. So now let's hit play. Again, this one is coming, everything is coming directly from NAS, but this is the older system. So here you see our dogs are coming, we're coming right after. And again, I can speed things up nicely. And as you see, <laughs> that was a half an hour, 20 minutes uh, dog walk. So this was how, what you have to do to set the direct recording, sorry, the direct playback up in MX Management Center. Uh, we looked at both ways. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have questions, please leave the comments down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.